Retelling Stories from the Axelson Academy Reading Literature Standard 2 Retell stories including key details and demonstrate understanding of their central message or lesson. In this video I will introduce the Somebody Wanted But So Then Finally strategy. This is a strategy that students can use to complete a narrative plot summary. In first grade, students need to be able to retell a story. This framework ensures that students will include basic story elements and a few focused key details when summarizing a fictional piece. When working with first grade students, this template should be modeled and completed with lots of teacher support until students are really comfortable with the strategy. The template includes six boxes. Each box begins with a one word prompt. All of these words are read as a part of the sentences you create with your students, except for the somebody, which is in parentheses in the first box. For this box, the students will substitute in the main character's name. We are going to pretend we just read Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Students identify that the main character is Goldilocks, and you will write that in the first box. Goldilocks wanted to see what was in the house, but no one was home. And many times I begin just like that, leaving the prompting words dangling and students automatically complete the rest of the sentences. The first three boxes work together to form one complete sentence. To reinforce the concept of ending punctuation, take this opportunity to point out the need to add a period at the end of this sentence. Draw attention to how the prompting word in box 4 is capitalized, so we know that begins a new sentence. The Common Core has kindergarten students able to identify ending punctuation and use capitals at the beginning of sentences, so this reinforces prior knowledge. You can extend this into the first grade language standard 2B, use end punctuation for sentences, by having them look for and add the ending punctuation themselves. Goldilocks wanted to see what was in the house, but nobody was home. So, she ate the porridge and sat in the chairs. Then, she fell asleep in the smallest bed. Finally, the three bears came home and Goldilocks ran away. We would go back to work on this for fluency or to identify common sight words in additional activities. Focusing on reading literature, the somebody wanted but so then finally strategy is an excellent way to teach retelling a story. This has been Retelling Stories from the Axelson Academy. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and go to axelsonacademy.com and sign up for our mailing list for more information and helpful resources.